Hello everyone. For some reason I felt like doing another video. This time I thought I would review the Impossible Burger from Impossible Foods, right? Uh, in my little thumbnail you probably saw a picture of what this looks like. It looks like regular chopped meat when you're actually cooking it. You see my whole, whole I always like point, I don't know why. But. And uh, I've seen reviews like online, lots of vegetarians and vegans. Sorry, I can adjust my camera. Can't see my hand. Sorry. But, <laughs> and you're gonna have lots of uh, vegans and other individuals really reviewing this. It looks like a regular hamburger patty once you cook it, right? And just give you a little right there. It actually that looks like real and it's plant-based, so I'm just gonna give it a little There you go. Right? You even can have it like pink in the middle if you want, if you like your meat rare. Um, so that is good. We'll see. And uh I know lots of people who are vegans and, and um when comparing Impossible, um, their meat, and I find this in my Hannaford near my, where my chopped meat or ground beef uh, is, and uh, and you can find Beyond meat there as well. Uh, vegans usually prefer Beyond meat because this actually does taste a little more like um, real ground or chopped meat. Um, so... Let's give it a taste test and talk about it. I've had this before, so, but might as well get a live experience, right? I think you maybe you see the pink there, right? Maybe. By the way, I'm trying to lose weight, like I said, in one of my other videos. And this tastes, to me, a lot like me. I actually had a hamburger yesterday and actually I was now thinking about like that hamburger yesterday to, to having this like homemade hamburger and I actually do prefer this it's juicy it's that nice little crisp on the outside they did replicate it has like iron taste to it and that's because they're replicating the taste they have from ground beef which is uh, going to be uh, blood and the, you know iron in there so actually it's pretty good <laughs> you see how much I have left I enjoy it now actually you know what's funny for this one I didn't season it for this video I did that for you I did um, but I usually do, I'm a Hispanic, so I have a gobo in my cabinet, and usually I put it on it, and I go to the outside, and what I'm going to do for everybody, is I'm going to try to chop up, if you hate watching people eat, it's not your video, I'm an eater, uh, that's how I got that. Very good. I actually really enjoy it. I give this a 10 out of 10. Maybe you give it. Tell me if you've tried this before. What do you give it? Do you give it one? Because you really like the meat. If you tried the um, Burger King, has their Impossible Whopper. They make them very flat. Whoppers. Still enjoyed it, but for some reason that one tastes a little more. Less convincing because I also think that it doesn't have that burned look or that smoky flavor that the other Whoppers have. Mm. I prefer um, savory over.
sweet. So now I have, let's see, like you can see, maybe, look at it, it looks like pink, right? I, I do like medium rare. One time I ordered mashed potatoes. And my meat was so bloody that my mashed potatoes turned red. And I'm not really that kind of person. But this I don't mind because I don't feel as guilty eating meat, which is not it's really not, not meat. It's not a cow. This could solve real hunger. I want to try the chicken ones. Do they have a seafood? I wonder what seafood is like plant based. What do they taste like? Fish sticks? I never not, I'm not a huge fan of fish sticks, but. Oh. You have to eat with me. I'm not sure if anyone else, but there's sometimes when I make myself something and I'm not really enjoying it. And I will watch TV and go. That's so much better than what I'm eating. And then right after I'm done eating it, I'm usually getting something and going to the drive and our fast food. I'm sorry. I kept on looking down because I have two red cups here. One of them is for the fish tank and I have like just started it. I have a, gold, um, a beta in there because I'm getting other fish too. By the way, I thought that keeping fish was cheap. It's not cheap. So if you're thinking about it, it's not cheap. But I'm not sure which one I use for that and which one I should drink out of. I'm not going to take the risk. I almost, while we're talking, I almost went like, oh, let me take this. This, this is for my beta. For PetSmart. It has little duties in here. That would not have been great. Oh, that reminds me of the story. Because we're talking about food. Okay. Story time. Gather around, children. Matthew's about to tell you a story. Well, he has nuts. By the way, peanuts, not good for your colon. So, if you're a guy, polyps. Why am I having after telling you that? Uh, story time. So, I went to Burger King one day. It was all my break during work and uh ate our food uh put my tray down to go to you know on top after i threw my garbage away and i also got maple syrup on my hand and i don't know it's like a natural instinct where i went, oh, licked it i was like oh maple syrup and then i realized i did not order anything breakfast related i had a whopper and fries and a soda so the maple syrup that got my hand that I licked off was actually stuck to the garbage lip, like around the, the rim of the garbage can. I put my hand on it while I was putting my garbage in there, got on my hand, and I licked it. And I was like, Ugh. it was disgusting. But it made me, it did, me bleh, did make me want pancakes afterwards. This is when you know you're fat. Have weight problem. When you lick syrup off a garbage can, and all you could think about is the fact that you want pancakes. Mm. That was a long pause. Sorry. Well, tell me about your food experiences. Are you experimental with food? I keep it itching my, itch my nose because I, it's, oh, I don't know what sense is going on. I think a pimple's coming on. But tell me about your food experiences. Tell me what you like. Tell me if you even want to try this. Are you a vegetarian? A vegan? Does it offend you when other people eat meat around you? I get sad when I watch videos about chickens being killed or cows. And I don't want to eat meat after that. And then I remember how good it tastes. And that's bad, people. But anyways, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy. If you like this video, watch my other videos. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. I really enjoy it. Maybe I'm getting better as I do this. Maybe I suck.
Either way, it's been fun. Thanks. Mm. It tastes good. Makes me want a milkshake. You shouldn't have milkshake. You're fat. 511? 206? My doctor says my belly. Fat. It's a problem. So why are you still eating this? I put it away. See that? Self control. Not really because there's only like four pieces left in here. Anyways, bye. Till next time.